think uh, the things special about where we live now is uh, the culture's quite a different from where I lived before. When you walk around Santeria, there's uh, some parts uh, cobblestone, but also there's some parts with uh, asphalt. And also the town has a old town part, and there's a, up the hill there's a bit more modern buildings. Since we arrived to the town, we started communicating with people by body language and uh, having a drink together. And then, yeah, we find some people who is in uh, similar interests, such as uh, music. Yeah, luckily, everyone's most of the people are very uh, open and welcoming, and they really included us to the family events and stuff to make us comfortable. The title of uh, Mulu is Tutu Pasa. It means uh, all pass or everything pass. I start hearing this phrase just from my friends, just talking to people. And it, its significance is like uh, how the nature goes and how the even emotions and everything, which to me very much uh, cohesive concept to Shogyo Mujo in uh, Buddhist uh, and a Japanese saying, which also means everything pass, everything changes. When I, and I always like that saying, original Japanese one also, so when I had the Tutupasa and I, when I understand the meaning, it's like, oh, this is perfect, it's nice. So. So production of this mule, I went with quite a minimum uh, materials, such as a uh, painting roller, an extension pole, and a ladder I borrowed from Giacomo. He's the guy who has a hardware store in front of my house. Uh, and also uh, the city gave me a little scaffolding to go with, and also a uh, water pressure sprayer. And I like it using these tools, including uh, sprayers and also uh, extension pole, because when I paint with this, my leech is way longer than my arm length. So compared to, say, you painting with spray paint or brushing my hand, suddenly my leech is uh, 10 times or maybe 20 times longer which gives me an uh, advantage of seeing the picture from the farther away. That's why I feel like, uh, when I say it uh, feels like a sketching, because I can be on one spot and draw something and I can actually see it. The distance gives that perspective, so. Yeah, I have been painting for maybe nearly 20 years, I guess. But yeah, it is actually first time painting mule 
where I feel like I can call it my town. Yeah, I picked the subject from the nature of the town, painted the birds falcon and colbo is a um, crow and uh, londini, it's two sparrows, and then uh, gaza, it's like a European uh, magpie. This old birds, like we just constantly see on the skies because it's on the mountain. The skies are pretty big, it's different from the city square skies, so. I'm always curious about everything, including place and how people's cultures and how they live and how they talk and what they eat and what they drink. So every time I go to different places, I feel like I'm given a lot of uh, experience and knowledge. That's why I would like my walk to be a return to that. I feel like the mural I make in uh, any places now feels like it's not just my work because they gave me the, some of uh, insight and information about histories and cultures and how they live so it's more like uh, we creating a dish together. So it's like my, this is my part of contribution is actual painting part but I think whole mule is actually created with a people around. So I think I felt that more emotional about it for the Santelia one because I have a deepness of connection. So some way it's special. I feel like uh, this uh, new little project was a collaboration with the people in uh, Santelia. Even from the beginning, they are uh, encouraging me to do it. And uh, a lot of people, my friends and uh, families are very supportive. So I want to say thank you to everyone.